cataractcoach.com. Cataract quiz. What kind of cataract is this? Look very carefully. The lens is very opaque and the vision is very, very poor. Have you figured it out yet? Look carefully. What do you actually see? There's a capsular rexus already. This is not a cataract. This is an opaque IOL. So this patient needs an IOL exchange. And so why did this happen? Well, there are a lot of different reasons. The most common, I think, opacified IOL that we see are the hydrophilic acrylics. And there have been a lot of causative facts that have implicated there. But fortunately, it's a pretty rare event here. Now, you can see there's some sneakier that's being split and broken with the chopper. And now you got to carefully dissect the IOL out of the capsular bag. Now, when you break the sneakier, that's good. Get that pupil expand a little bit more, maybe a little pupil stretching. To get the IOL out of the capsular bag, you got to be very careful because ideally, you're going to put the new IOL back in the capsular bag. Now, it's not clear, did the patient already have a YAG laser capsulotomy? Can't really tell. I mean, that lens is pretty opaque here. So again, more visco dissection, that's always a good thing. We like visco asking here. Getting under the rectus edge with that Sinsky hook, that looks good. That's a reasonable approach as well. Get under that. And now the other direction, going in is again, and nice and easy, going across it and lifting it up. Now, I like a little visco dissection first. Woo, that's a... I got my I got my blood pressure and pulse quite up, so now getting this up. There's the viscoelastic. That's what we want, because you don't know if the patient's already had a YAG capsulotomy. I like this just to hold it, make sure it doesn't fall back, and bring that whole lens up in the anterior segment, in the anterior chamber of the eye. There it is. It is completely opacified. Wow, the whole thing is completely opacified. So to, to explain this, do you want to do a twist now? Technique you could, but remember, if this is a calcification, that can actually make the lens more dense or hard, kind of like a rock. So you, you may have a hard time folding it in the eye. You still could, but perhaps it's easier in this case to, once you free that haptic up, cut it. So this is why I like to do a good visco dissection and separate the bag from the eye well completely before bringing it up out of the bag. So I actually have to separate the haptics first. And once the haptics are separated, then I like to bring the optic up too. So I do haptics first. But there it is. There's the whole eye well. And let's see more viscoelastic. Oh, it's a good thing to protect the cornea. What are we going to do here? Bringing one haptic outside the eye. Can this be... Oh, there you are. Eye well cutting scissors. So cutting that. Be careful not to let the lens touch the cornea. And then cutting all the way through. I like the technique of grabbing one haptic for some traction. Oh, the haptic even broke off. So this lens became a little bit more brittle. And so cutting across, and here, slightly enlarging the incision, you can get your cut mostly across, bring out half, and then kind of rotate it like this. Here you go. You, can, you don't have to cut all the way through. Just be careful. You may be damaging a little bit of endothelium at the site there, but slowly bring it here, rotate, rotate, pull it out, and there you go. You've explanted it. Now, cleaning up, let's take a look at what's going on back there. Hey, remember, we've got the top teaching podcast in all of ophthalmology. The Catacoach Podcast, it teaches you success. Not necessarily surgical skills, but how to be successful in your career. And I promise you will love it. Just check it out. It's only an hour a week. Now, Triumph Sentinel, I like the idea. Beautiful. Because that just shows you, is there any vitreous prolapse? And the pupil came down. What are you going to do here? Do you want to stretch the pupil, put some hooks in? What are we going to do here for the IOL? Because if you don't open up that pupil, you may end up getting that new IOL in the sulcus. Now, what lens would you put in here? I mean, probably your best bet is to put in a three-piece IOL. So now let's see, using that and a digging technique here with a, a Y hook and pulling that iris around and seeing what do we have here in terms of support. I like changing to that red reflex to get a better view. That was a good idea. And now maybe opening up the sulcus here. So I'd re- ideally like to have the new lens of the capsule bag. Again, I can't tell is the posterior capsule intact. And that's going to be a little bit of a challenge because the patient did have a lot of sneaky there. Well, the good part is if you put in like a hydrophobic three-piece acrylic lens in the sulcus, then iris tends not to stick to it. There it is, three-piece lens. Hey, we think the same. So here comes the lens. Now, you can put the lens on top of the iris, yeah, and then slowly dial it in. That's an easy way of getting it in the eye first, and then you can figure out the position later. So I, that's a reasonable technique. I think that's good. And so now getting it in, it looks like one haptic's already in the sulcus. Here's the other one. So now you've got a nice, oh, not quite in the bat, in the sulcus yet. So get that carefully rotated. There we go. That looks pretty good. Nicely centered up. So sulcus lens, good option there. 
So I hope you pass this cataract quiz. If you go back and look at the initial picture that we did there, you will notice the title picture. You can actually see the capsule rex edge. Now here the surgeon's putting in a suture. I think that's a great idea for this incision because the incision's a little bit beaten up by extracting that IOL through it. Plus you had to enlarge it. And a suture, you know what? No big deal. Easy to put it in at the time of surgery. Get that rotated around. And the patient's going to have a beautiful result. Remove that viscoelastic with a bimanual approach. And very nicely done. So if you like cataract quizzes, I got a whole section of just cataract quizzes, hundreds of them. Just go to the Cataract Coach website and you will see all of them. Go to the actual website. Got to leave YouTube for a second. Cataractcoach.com. Look for the category quiz and you can enjoy and test yourself.